Hey guys, it's me Ronan and this is my new show and we are excited for you to watch it! So how am I going to deal mommy, with this coldness today? I have been living in Wales over the past couple of years. I moved back home, I was living in Belfast and now I am in my beautiful mummy's house. But well, hopefully my willy doesn't shrivel up. <laughs> Any more than it already is? No, nobody's just going back. My breakfast took a lot out of me. <laughs> I'm not as thin as I once was, you know, babes. I'm gonna be good, baby. Right. Being Ronan Rice's mother is hard work. He drains the life clean out of me because he is constantly on the go, constantly looking for something more, and he's never happy. Bye, darling! My neighbour Emma, she's great. Everybody loves me here. Hi, Max! I'm thinking just down there. So let's go down there. Let's have a look at the rocks. Yeah. Let's. Okay, let, cool. Before you strip off, mm -hmm. let's go for a particular type of pose that we're looking for. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, of the ones that we looked at, mm -hmm. what are you kind of saying? I love them all. See the ones at the back way where you're looking behind me? Yeah. And the ones me on my knees would be great as well. Right. And okay. just loads of really fun stuff. Okay. Um, I have different types of, I have black pants, white pants, grey pants. Right, okay. I have it all. I think we'll go with black to start off with. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then we can change over then. Okay, So good. black, white, sexy, seductive. Yeah. I have my leather jacket as well. Natural. And oh, perfect. Have, perfect. We have it all, so we'll just have a look and see what we have. Yeah. And with the blonde know. hair, that will good. Good. I know, contrast. back to good blonde. To back to, and this is the castle. This good is the man. famous castle. This Do you know, I've never been here before in my life. What? I've never been to Cleve. I've been here skinny tipping all the time. Did, did you? Is this where you go for your wee photos? Oh, absolutely. I've always no. seen you skinny tip. I just want to know where it was. I would love to go skinny tipping. Here you go, my dear. Oh, look at you with your hot water bottle already. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, I love beach so much I love being on the beach because I think what it is me and my mommy used to live in this beautiful home outside the beach and we every morning or every evening we used to go down for walks and it was just so peaceful like no phone no social media it was just so nice to have that time Yeah. Yeah, love those. Right. Okay. Right. So we want to do on the sand. Yeah. Now, do you know the one that I showed you? Of me? Yeah. Now, so. Yeah. Yes. We love this. Oh, it's gonna be so cold. I am so ready yeah. for this, guys. Right. So black first. Yeah. Black first. Yeah. That's perfect. Attraction all over again, God. <laughs> Holy shit. Naked attraction was something that I was offered to do years ago and I, I, I said no several times. I told my mum about it, my mummy said no, my sister said no, everyone said no. But I came to after COVID and I got asked to do it again and I was the biggest I've ever been and I thought, you know what, let's just do it and show people that you can go on and find love and you can look the way you look not caring what you look like. So I did that. I didn't think, I didn't, I'm not gonna say I was blindsided by Naked Attraction, but I was, you know, I went on Naked Attraction thinking that there's gonna be more body types out there, but I was the fat one, of course. So it was very strange for me to get on that platform with all these skinny boys and then having to go on TV and relive it again and rewatch it. And I did have a moment where I wasn't gonna do Naked Attraction and they have psychiatrists in the background, so I did have to leave the set, talk to the people on the laptop for a while on Zoom, um, and she kind of boosted me up a wee bit again, and I went back on the set and did it, and then I passed out in the airport because all things, all the adrenaline, um, I, I, I was crazy, and I woke up, and the, there was like a, the people that was having like a thing over my arm, the blood pressure stuff, it was crazy, but I was alive, I'm good. Naked Attraction was 
really good experience. I would rank that probably one of my favorite shows I've ever did, um, or done, whatever. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was really, really good. Highly recommend it, guys. It's like, hey guys, <laughs> don't mind me, guys. Balls in, you know. Get those balls in. Get the balls in. Definitely babe. get those balls in. <laughs> I used to be your teacher. I know. Are we just doing pants at the moment or leather jacket? Pants on leather jacket. Let's pants go. on leather yeah, jacket. Yeah, let's go for pants on leather jacket. Do you think this leather jacket looks okay then? Yep, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Is my hair okay, yeah? My toes are for reason, guys. But we're, we're, we're doing it and we're feeling it and we're loving it. so that they're and down my in the water. Out. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Or you can turn. What would I say? Do you want to bum one? Yeah, I love my bum one. I want to lie down my stomach and my bum out. And then you can, one arm out, looking over your shoulder, so like I, a cheeky wee bum one. So I'm sitting down. You're sitting down. Okay. Just wait till the water hits oh your balls. <laughs> so cold in my life. People are going to watch this and going to think, Jesus, he has balls. Balls of steel. Don't I have balls of steel? Balls of steel, baby, you do. I do. Cheers, guys. We're doing it today. We're here and we're getting wet, baby. My balls were freezing on the beach. I was so cold, but the adrenaline, I didn't have any, I wasn't really thinking what I was doing. I was just doing it because you know me, I'm all professional and all. So I decided just to really get in there and just get wet and have a good time. And we're going to my nanny's now. We're going to have a nice wee chat with my nanny. Right. And then... Hope she's got the heating on. She better. I'm going to be freezing. <laughs> and I'm like, hi nanny. <laughs> just back for my shit, love. But okay, yeah. Okay, so it's the life and times of Ronan and Ryan. Yeah, it's going to be a good show and you're going to be the main star. You're going to be the first scene. Shouting. Shouting. Give it to me, bitch. Give it to me, bitch. And then at the bottom, you say former, <laughs> former science teacher. Former science teacher. <laughs> Mom. Hello, darling. What's wrong? You okay? How are you feeling? Forgotten. You feel bad? Yeah, I can't. Mommy's coming as well. I love my granny so much. My nanny Dee, she, oh my god, there's so many memories of me and her together, or her and I. Is that good grammar? Her and I. No idea, but I love her so much. She used to give me so much money, so many cigarettes, and I used to eat her pizza from the freezer every weekend. It was great. I love her so much. And she's still alive, which is good. Um, I was at the beach today, to tell you. Oh, yeah. And... I was butt naked on the beach. I had to do a photo shoot on the beach. Was there many on the beach? There was loads of old people, like you, in the water. And I was like, I hope they don't see my willy. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I'm sure they thought the same thing as well. I know, but it was fine. They actually <laughs> left. They left by the time I was getting yeah. dressed. <laughs> what brought that on? I just, it's a body positivity shit, you know? A bit of work. Oh, just... <laughs> bit of work this morning, but I'm all good now. I'm, <laughs> and now I have family time. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, your skin's nice this morning. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. That's the cool breeze for you. Is it? <laughs> it is. Is it that cold outside? It's freezing. It's so cold. It's so, so cold. Oh, no wonder I didn't feel it this morning. I know. Well, you look lovely, darling. So how was your day? So far wrong. Are you not feeling too good today? No. Of all days. Do when you... I wanted to be feel pretty and everything else. You look gorgeous, <laughs> darling. You look gorgeous. <laughs> I just want to pop up here because I had such a busy day. Oh, yeah. And I just wanted to go up and see you because I haven't seen you in a while. So I just wanted to see you. I'm wearing this because I was at the beach. Oh, well, you at the beach was mm-hmm. says, it says feeling good. Feeling good, looking good, look, feeling good, looking great. <laughs> doing great. Oh, yeah, doing great. I can't really see it upside down, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I have literally I have sand on my toes. I can't believe that you actually were naked on the beach. Have you started Netflix yet? No. No. You, you know me. I give you, you the know. password and everything. I just if I go from either BBC One or ITV or whatever it is, I of my own programmes, I just get lost. Do you? And then I curse the TV when it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just chilling. Yeah, right? we're going for dinner tomorrow night. We're having dinner, so it's going to be fun. Where are you we're going, going for our dinner? glass. For Chinese. Oh, lovely. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. So I am back on. I'm back on Tinder again. I'm swiping, trying to date some boys. Oh, are you? Mm-hmm. Right? I'm trying to find the one. <laughs> I will be careful who you pick. Why? Jenny. I will. There's a lot of them out there that are not cracked up to what they're supposed to be. <laughs> oh, that's hard work. I am seeing nobody at the moment. I have completely shut down on my love life completely. I. I do hookups maybe once in a while, which is great, but I have never settled down in such a long time. So I'm not dating anybody, I'm not texting anybody, and yeah, I'm just on my own at the moment. How many boyfriends did you have back in the day? Oh, tons. <laughs> tons? I <used> what, to... <laughs> Donnie? <laughs> I used to eat the boys all, and then when they got too frisky, I went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you meet Granda? Okay, I knew Granda. Uh, from the time that I worked in one of Daddy's shops. He, used, he was in the St. Peter's Brass and Reed Band. He used to come in when he was in uniform. Yeah. Because where they, the wee hall that they went to, was just across the road from the shop. And he just... So we always come in. And we always sort of got on well with each other. And he'd seen me standing at the bus stop. And he used to wave over at me because he worked in the Royal Victoria Hospital. Oh, no way! So then there was one day, him and another fella were racing across the road, racing up like man. Jerry got to me first and he says, uh, will you come to the pictures on Saturday night? Oh, and what did you just watch, he, remember? No, I can't remember. And he took me so much on a worse night because the bus had just arrived. And he says, yes or no? And I went, all right. He was a bad boy though, remember? He had a motorbike and he had a leather jacket. No, he didn't so much have a leather jacket and the motorbike was only a moped. Oh, <laughs> was it sex? Was it sexy? No, it was not. No, bloody uncomfortable to sit oh on. Oh my god! Yeah. Can I just can we just appreciate how I'm your favorite grandchild? <laughs> no, you can't say that. Do you think I'm <laughs> the most talented? Probably. If <laughs> <laughs> you said that, not me. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm trying to get back into the evening games. I'd love to meet someone. Maybe have a baby. You wouldn't have a patience to I would. I'd be You would come up and say to me, hey, Nanny, I want to go to the pub, I want to go out. Hey, could you mind her? <laughs> I think I'd be a really, really good Could parent. you mind a child? You always said that. I always but wanted it's, kids. it's a terrible responsibility. I know. So you have to really think of it, because don't forget, they don't stay that size. Mm. <laughs> they get to your size. No, I know. <laughs> like, it would not be a dog or a cat, you know what I mean? I think I have enough dogs. I think I, I think I would like another dog, maybe like a Great Dane or something, you know what I mean? No. Like a big, cute one called Frederick or Roger. No, you want to be a small dog. Want to Wait, ask? Well, what are you going to do for the rest of the day? The rest of the day? <laughs> We're just going to go for a walk with the dogs, I think, and then I'm going into work for a while. Oh here, can you go get me the wee scissors please? Thank you so much for when I get that sword. Right. <laughs> Look at the wee hers, my love. What I normally do whenever I'm here is I always chop her up 
making sure she's beautiful isn't that correct yeah i'm the only grandchild who does it because i'm her favorite thank you so much for that right you need to stay really still okay yes here i'll pull it out for you okay, i'll do it so you just okay. go move right whoa <laughs> just kidding oh gorgeous look at that and then turn turn your yeah perfect beautiful lady there you're looking 25 all over again there we go so she used to be something that we were able to rub on that to take the hours off. It's called Veet. I, I used Veet one time. My balls. <laughs> I know your floor is going to be covered in sand. My my feet are covered. That's your feet. I, um, I actually found this in the cupboard. This was my first ever yeah. TV show that Granda did for and, me. Um, and he framed he, it. Yeah, Cherry framed it, yeah. Yeah. So take it home with you and put it in your bed. Don't stop believing. The youth fusion theatre that I used to be in, yeah. remember that, um, the drama group I used to be in? Yeah. Including kids from Down Patrick, aka Ruin Rice. Well, we were shouting at the TV the whole night. Or in this week's live heat, Channel 5, Sunday, August 8th at 5.45 pm, 2010. Oh, but you just came second, didn't you? I... Well, in my heart, I came first, to be honest, but. I mean, we all thought you were going to be yet. I know, because I was so, so good, did. wasn't I? But yeah, that's our plan for the day. Yeah, but it was lovely seeing you, my love. Oh, and see me. Really good to day. And and see me so bad. Give me a wee hug. Bad knowledge, I love you so much. Bad knowledge, Thank you for everything, my love. You're just the perfect granny. <laughs> and the perfect grandson. Let me go, you. <laughs> and thanks for the cigarette, I really enjoyed it. I stole one whenever you're upstairs. I stole it whenever you're upstairs, my fun will lie. You left to trail sand. I know there's sand everywhere. Right, love, thank you so much for today. See you later. See you later. Thanks for calling. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Love you. Okay, and you. I'll see you during the week whenever I'm free, okay? Okay, bye. See you later. So today, um, my mum and I are going to take the dogs for a walk. The dogs haven't been out in ages and they're so sad. So we're going to take them to the walk. Um, it's this beautiful little forest place. But I hope they don't poo because I hate poo so much. Hi, are you finding me being back home? I think that at some stage we'll have to plan for your future. What do you mean plan for my future? I'm, I'm loving can't life. can't forever home. Well, I'm going to decorate the room. That doesn't matter whether you decorate the room or not. You can't stay home forever. When you already decorate it until you take it apart again, and then you'll read it again and again and again. My relationship with my mum is, it's very fun. I have, like we go on, we went on a holiday a couple of years ago and we had the best time ever. And I love our movie nights. We have really good movie nights in. I can tell her anything. She can tell me anything. We're just best friends. And I like she is my rock at the end of the day. Like have you no long term thoughts for what you want Well, to obviously, do? yeah, I would like to get a boyfriend. But forget about the boyfriend side of things. Like, do you not want your own independence? Not really. I love being with you. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. There's plenty of old men who live with their mums. But you don't want to be an old man loving your mum. Heard meals. I don't want to be an old mummy loving my old man's son. My mum definitely has her my best interest in her heart for sure, but this way she shows it, it's very annoying because she, it's the little things like, oh, go and clean your room. My room will be cleaned whenever I want to bloody clean my room. Do you know what I mean? If I haven't flushed the toilet, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Do you know what I mean? I just want to be me for like a day. Whenever my dad was alive, he used to take me for this walk all the time. And he used to make me climb up this tree. And every year, whenever I got older, I used to climb the tree more and more until I reached the top. Then the mum? <laughs> did I ever reach the top? You never reached the top. Oh, I never reached the top, to be honest. But. But you did try. I did very well. Oh, there's horses, mummy. I did it right. Just I'm not going to change it. No, just. Well, show me how you can do it. <laughs> Why is that a horse? Do you know what sort of a noise a horse makes? Yeah. No. <laughs> It's a hard life being a superstar. I know, babes. I am a superstar. I am the bread runner in this family. The bread runner. You don't even know what bread runner or bread winner is. You mean I understand just the TV world than I do. But we're not just talking about TV world. I'm talking about your life. My life's great. I have a good life. Definitely you babes. have the best life, Roman. You're the best life. If you want me to move out, babes, I'll move out tomorrow. I want you to move out. When? Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>
I want you to have a plan of action for when you want to move out. I just want you to stick I'm it just to the I want to travel the world this year. I want to go to holidays. I want to book time off work. I want to just enjoy life and just be me. Instead of sitting in a kind of house, spent paying six hundred pound rent, and bloody can't even afford a pot middle, you know. I would settle for three hundred personally myself. Um, Oh, for your house? For rent for yours? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I really just need to get out, Mummy, and I've been working so much. I just need to get out for a walk and just breathe, sniff some trees, and just really soak up the air, really. Oh, this is so long. <laughs> you said so long? Yeah. Oh, you tired of walking already, son? I'm not going to walk all the way. I'm just telling you. We used to walk it from that house, do you remember? We're here! Woo! Doggies, we're here! We're gonna go for walkies! He wants to go for walkies! Oh my goodness, we're gonna have a good day, girlies. Are we gonna play with the doggies? Is it gonna be doggies? <gasps> do you bring pit bikes? Oh! <gasps> do you know what? I have a plan. We just ignore the pit. Alright, let's go. Okay. Good girl. Oh, that gives me a boat here or something. Very wrong, son. Look, at, she needs a new lead. <laughs> she, or something. no, she just has been out for a while, Ronan, so she's very excited. Oh my goodness, my dogs are the best thing that ever happened to me since, like, my birth. I love my dogs so much. I have two dogs, two Shih Tzus, which are my favourite types of dogs. One's called Edith. She is around 14 and 15 years old I believe. We called her Edith because she was so cute and she was just so old looking and I just thought you know what this is definitely an Edith or Martha. Her middle name is Martha so I called her Edith Martha Rice. Then the, oh god the devil dog Mildred. I hate her so much. She does not go near me whenever I try to cuddle her. She would not go near me whatsoever but I do have a soft spot for her because she's just so cute. Mildred and Edith. You need to um, take her out more often. Do you know what we should do? We should do a... Uh... We should do once a week. We should go swimming. No, on. no, no. We should go for a walk every night up to 90 days and Jardines with the two dogs and then back home. Why 90 days and Jardines? Because it's a doable walk for you for every night. Good girl for PPN. But would you not want to go back into the gym though again? Um, I just can't at the middle. No, no matter what I will do. Why? Because I've just got too much going on with 90 day. Yeah, you either be. You need to make sure that you're looking out for her and making sure she's okay. Oh, I used to always stand here with Granda. Hey? Granda. Oh, really? Yeah, we can run every Sunday. Can you, sw can you not swim in there? No. You can, but it's not very clean. Oh, it's not. Come on, puppy. Good girl, darling. Me neither for matching, mama. <laughs> oh, this is the boat here. Yeah. So I know the story. Can I tell you the story? The Spanish <laughs> Armada. Got the boat from Spain, travelled all the way to Ireland, it crashed and it parked right there. See that's the boat there look, that's the top bit that I used to climb around, remember? Yeah, it was never overgrown like that, remember? No, there was, loads of, there was never no grass. That's pretty cool. But you just love this mum. <laughs> you never kiss me anymore. <laughs> why do I never kiss you? Tell me why I never kiss you. Because I suck Willie. Um, no, 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 no. Why do I not kiss you anymore? Because I lick the dog's tongues. And what else? And I smoke. You smoke. And what would happen if you didn't smoke, Rona? I could breathe again, to be honest. You could breathe? What else? I could... I don't really know, to be honest. There's just a lot of stuff that you I could have done. energy? I have tons of walks. energy! Show me. <laughs> That's energy. Do, do that Trisha, again. Was that... Something that you don't do know how to do. Do it again, Rona. Just one more time. <laughs> Just about me ended up there, didn't you? I did. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Wait, it's ripped. How are you meant to put poo in that? <laughs> oh my god. Use that for your, your glove. Yeah, right. This is disgusting. Hurry up, or it'll be dry. Well, I want it to be dry. I don't want to be wet and squishy. Oh. I like she's done something wrong. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm actually going to be sick with that. One! Oh, God. Eat up, it's warm. Try not in it. Woo! Try not in it. 
tie a knot and throw it in the river? No, you tie a knot and then you take it to the river. <laughs> That's what I actually have to do with my hand. Any breakfast? Do you want to sit down, Mom? Girls. Oh. So, Mum, I'm going to London next week. Oh, happy days. What are you going to London for? For another show. I'm excited for it. Good. And what's the arrangements for this one? I'm away on Friday for four days. Okay. I'm getting paid for it. Oh, happy days. Do you, can, do you believe how crazy it is, though, that all those years ago, I went on that one show for that naked one undressed and look where we are now. I love having long walks, especially whenever we're with my mom because we get to talk about real stuff and it's my little escape goat as well, which I love so much. And we have the dogs as well and they're nice and fluffy, so it just brings more magical to it. But how do you feel? Oh do you my feel that like you've like come further than that last show? Well, yes, for sure. I, I how many shows I've done. I've done, I've done any kind. <laughs> well, eight TV shows. Okay. And I have a book. Are you looking forward to going Yeah, I can't wait to go away. I'm going to see Alia. I haven't seen her. She lived, Remember, she was my friend in Wales. Yeah, Alia's I'm lovely. going to see her on that Friday. She's going to stay over at my hotel. And we're going to have a wee glass of wine, some olives. And we're just going to have a good time, to be honest. I I really enjoyed Wales. I'm not... I don't regret leaving because I'm good to be home. But... Do you I, feel better for being home? Yeah, no. Like, I have friends here. I have my family here. But at the end of the day, I really enjoyed Wales. And the boys were sexy. And the food was great. And see Uber Eats any time of the day. But that's the problem, Ronan. Uber Eats. I know. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I drank those green juices. Ronan. When was the last time you had a green juice? A month ago. Mm. To be honest, but... Do you not think you'd feel like, healthier for doing it? Mm, probably would. I think if I... I would, I, I, I don't, I'm never going to say never for Wales, like I might go back, but for now I'm just happy being with you. I think we're having a really good time and I think me and you are, me and you are getting on really well. This is the best we've ever been, I think. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> it's the best we've been, but you can't, can't stay with me forever. I think you need to start making plans. You die, I die. I die, you die, babes. I don't want to wait that long, thanks. Well, it's getting cold, should we go? I'll move on a little bit. Maybe go back. Move on, I'll bet you. No, we'll just go back. Well, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> right, let's go, babes. Come on, girlies! Come on, darlings. Right. Come on, darlings. And we're going to watch. Did we not watch something? Oh, we did. Do you want to watch a movie then instead? we we'll watch um, Enchanted. <gasps> oh, I can do. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get. I'm <laughs> go gonna... on, try it. <laughs> <laughs> try it again. Lower, lower, lower. Lower? Lower as in not as high pitched. Oh. Okay, like close your eyes. Imagine the movie. Okay? Imagine what she's trying to do. Upbeat. Go. Oh. I think I could be a di I think I could be a Disney princess, no bother, huh? You are a Disney princess, Ron. <laughs> So today we are going bowling because I am very competitive in this family and I always win. The loser has to walk to the car park butt naked. No. Yeah. I love hanging out my family. I love being with my cousins and my friends and we did went bowling because it's fun. We're doing something that doesn't involve drinking, you know, it's just something more casual and it was fun and I really enjoyed it. Okay. My favourite sport is probably swimming because you get to wear the tight speedos and your ball choice looks really, really good in it, to be honest. But I also, I, in school, I actually um, won so many competitions in school because I was the best swimmer in my class.
I'm so competitive. I got so bored because my my score was the lower score and everyone else was throwing the balls like it was like it was I don't know, I just hate it. I think I might go with that ball from now on. That ball was a good ball. Right. Will it come up on the screen? <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, no. That was a good one. One more. There we go. No, I don't think we're going to be a professional baller at all. No, after the shambles that he was showing today, he should stick uh, to reality TV, I think. You're winning. What? You can do that, right? Yes. Why am I only on 23? Am I the Lewis? Yeah. You That's the off, we've been out of Sexy poses you could do. Like, you could do like, you could do that. You could do that. Put, like the leg out. How about do this? Like turn from the back and don't see what I'm doing. You could. We're gonna do that. Jesus Christ. That was a good one. Do you know what, guys? I'd rather. Wanna start new game? I'd rather hang out with you guys and drink like, every weekend. Like this is my happy place. You know what I mean? Uh, is that a stun? We can do another one. No. We paid for an hour. Woohoo! We're done. I'm done. I have had enough, guys. I'm out of here. Bowling's very fun, but if you don't win, it's quite boring, to be honest. And I feel like 69. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good number to it's a good number to leave out on, isn't it? I had the best time. Give me a hug. I will see you during the week or next yeah. week. I'll see you after London, okay? Yeah. Enjoy your day, my love. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today, guys. Yeah. Tell my mummy that I won. <laughs> see us. I'm away. Yeah. 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 Yes. What are we going to say? Say we love boys? <laughs> One, two, three, we love boys! <laughs> <laughs>
Is that correct? Yeah. And this is the beautiful woman who gave birth to me, Patricia. Aww. Yes, she gave birth to me through the, through the vagina. Then we have my beautiful cat. I actually met her in a nightclub bar and we had the best night ever since, yeah. anyway. Aww. The best Lovely. night ever since. So, yeah. And I'm the old teacher. And, she's, and I am not an alcoholic. She's the old teacher and <laughs> my friend. Yes. It's so nice of you to treat us for I'm so excited. <laughs> what? Let's have a drink, shall we, guys? Yes. Oh, for goodness Did sake. you see the photos that you took of me on the beach? No, I don't think it Have you not seen it? I, I sent it to Ethan. Ethan's like, ugh, what is that? I'm like, it's art. It's art. It's art. It's art. I know, some people are such oh, prudes. I think they were fabulous. I think they were gorgeous. They were amazing. Bob? I love Bob. So good. I would definitely do it again. But Jeff, we need to do another shit for sure. Yes. I would love that. It would be so, so good. In a different location. Belfast, maybe. Belfast would be good. We'll do a Belfast one. We'll also do them down in the in Castle Ward in the trees. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Once you do that, actually, more natural. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good to me. Well, maybe not get your your boxers off and yeah, the keep them on. You Just know, he's got a splinter. No a splinter. <laughs> <laughs> The results of the shoot are great. I was so tempted to face him on the photos and make me a bit skinnier, but I thought, do you know what? No, we're gonna be real, and that's exactly what I did, and I really enjoyed it. I hate to see exactly it. The, the photos came out so beautiful. Like, it's just a work of art. It's You're so very nice. natural. I just do You're my a pro. I just, you said to me you were a pro. You tell me what to do, and I just. gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me your fuck me. <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Oh, my God. Was this so good? <laughs> Well, it's funny because when I was a teacher, yes, I would, you know, I would have been okay. But see, whenever you're out of it for a while and all, and it's like telling somebody what to do, it's really difficult. But you were a champion. I went to see the time that we were teaching the you were teaching the sex eds. I went straight to my mummy's work. Right. What was I like? Tell them. Tell them. I was traumatized. You showed me a video of this woman's legs, just like. <laughs> Like the baby cry. was coming out. Oh, we had to. You had to. It was on the crick. What's it called? The crick You were second on it. I was like, I'm never having babies. Yeah. Never. Well, I couldn't. Anyway, so <laughs> well, technically, you could. Oh, I could, but not not that could. not that way. The pushing away, no way. <laughs> Ronan was very quiet. Weren't you? Mm -hmm. You were really quiet. Well, in the first and second year, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't one of the ones that really stood out as being, you know, in your face. You were sort of quiet and. You were just there. Mm. That's, That's hard to believe. That's very hard to believe, but <laughs> it did happen for you. And the LA is always there. Yeah. <laughs> when Ronan was at school, he was diagnosed with ADHD. And before that was treated, Ronan was very hard work because he wouldn't sleep, he wouldn't eat, and he just constantly needed my attention. Nobody else's attention, it was always my attention. And that's developed in the later life with Ronan, but it's more manageable now because he's aware of it and I'm aware of it. Do you know what you've gone? You've gone from like a chrysalis just to this butterfly. A big butterfly. Mm -hmm. Beautiful butterfly. A big beautiful butterfly. So he was quiet because he didn't enjoy it. Yeah. And um, he hadn't found his niche of friends. He could support him in what he wanted to do. And not everybody got Ronan, yeah. so not everybody understood Ronan. And I think that's why he was quiet, because he didn't have that language. Yeah. I got, support network. I got in trouble. I Miss McGee for being intention calling on me, because she overheard me in the hallway shouting, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> well, one day you went to school without your ADHD medication. Oh my God. And the language on the bus apparently was atrocious. <laughs> it was so and that bad. was the first insight to the real woman. It was really Yeah, bad. do you remember people made complaints about on the bus and they were like, yeah. like, come up to the school? So like, yeah, you meant to that age. Like, you, no, you wouldn't know back then. that you were going through all that. Oh, well, I enjoyed the science class, you know what I mean? Well, not <laughs> that day, but... Oh. <laughs> the reproduction. <laughs> We were watching the, all my YouTube stuff back in the day, which were films whenever I did media, do you remember? Yeah, that's right. And I had the best time, I love media. It was like my first time ever like branching out in something that I actually enjoyed. Joined. And it was it was the best feeling ever. I didn't feel like that since I was a Virgin Mary in primary school. It was great. <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> Nobody ever put their hand up for the Virgin Mary. I was like, I'll do it, babes. I don't regret anything, but what I would change if I knew before going into TV what the the consequences would happen, like the consequences that would happen being on TV is definitely the online trolling and the, the bullying. It's completely, 
it, I think you need to be very strong and very hard to go through something like that. And for someone who is as shy or maybe self-conscious about their weight or body, probably wasn't the best road to go down. So then you have to suck it up and be real. And I think that's one of the reasons maybe I could, that's one of the stuff that maybe I might not have thought of before going on TV. We met at a bar. Yes. The Kremlin was it? Kremlin, yes. We met in Kremlin. We, I was um, crying and <laughs> she was, was doing her- I was doing my makeup. And she was like, oh my God, your lips are so beautiful. Do you want more lip liner? <laughs> but you don't think I look a bit different though without them? Well, a lot different, you but do look in different. a bad way though. No, in a good way, in a really good way. Mm. Yeah. No, because I think you can just see more of you than before all you seen was your lips. And that was now a big you, it was big. Yeah, bad. now you just see you. Yeah, that yeah. was really bad. It's fair, no, there's a big, big difference though, isn't there? Whenever I get my lips dissolved because I can taste things again, I can I can feel things again. Mm -hmm. But see, walking past the mirror, I'm like, fuck, he's that geezer. Because that's not me. I think you just became so used to having them. It was six years, Kat. Yeah, so it's a big adjustment for mm -hmm. going from extra large lips, like probably the biggest that I've ever seen on someone, to your natural lips. That's a big change. Yeah. I've had my lips done, but I would never go to that extreme. Would like, you not? No, I just think it just is too much. Too much. Ronan had too much. He was going to get botched. I was botched, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ronan was literally botched. The so. reason why I got them dissolved, because I woke up one day and my filler was all in here. And I woke up and I was like, what's wrong with my face? I went to the doctor, doctor. And she was like to me, there's, your filler's literally moved because there's too much in your lip sack. It's yeah. crazy. My sack bust. The wrong sack. <laughs> <laughs> I was up in the wheels, remember? Yes. And then right. um, my dad passed away. So I got very weird that week. That was like very, I got very homesick very quickly and mm -hmm. the funeral was in and obviously I felt like I needed to be home. So I went right. home, but I ended up just staying after home, didn't I? I never really came back. Right, okay. I would like to go back, but I think I'm so comfortable now with my mum. I'm so happy yeah. now with the dogs, and then I met Kat, I only met Kat recently, and Kat's been great, Kat's been like a really good friend. And then Haley and Corey are old enough now to hang out, and we can do fun things together that doesn't involve like going to bed at 7pm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have a baby though. Would you? Yeah. I was looking into um, surrogacy and adoption. I, I, at, at my age, I'm 28, I would love to have a child now. For so many reasons, I can I can name like loads of reasons why I want children now. Um, number one, there is such a problem with uh, you know people who are giving up their kids at the moment, and there's problems with people who are having kids who don't necessarily I think in my eyes deserve them, and there's people that are um really looking for a home, which is like makes me so sad. I wish I could just take them all in, especially dogs as well. Oh God, but I. Um, my mummy had me whenever she was 25 and um, before my birthday I always said okay whenever I'm 25 I'm definitely gonna have a baby I'm definitely gonna have my own place I'm now 28 and I'm like getting grey hairs and I'm like fuck I'm nearly 30 and there's no baby on my lap great I think just with my mentality I feel more comfortable having my own child with my own blood and my own DNA and mm -hmm. um, just because I'm weird like that and um, but I would love to maybe save up some money and start paying people back and really <laughs> aka Haley. Um <coughs> I'm mom. I'm cat Corey can't have a good. Um I'm really sorry looking into it. Because you, I had an appointment with them. You can ha you can be a, a gay single parent. Mm -hmm. All you need is a box room. Like you know like you know the box rooms like a wee small room. Mm -hmm. Has to be a certain type of centimeter. Um, right, and as long okay. as you have a full time job um, and a roof over your head, you can start, you can adopt or have, you can become a surrogacy parent. Right, okay. But it costs thousands to get a surrogacy and it's probably cheaper to do adoption. Mm. I think um, oh. Ronan is not ready to have a baby yet. I don't think. Ronan. Sorry? I don't think you're ready yet to have a baby. I think Ellie's eye contact there. She was like, your mom's starting to shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Okay. 
There's so many opinions in my family whenever it comes to me wanting to have kids. I'm too young, I'm not ready, I'm too childish, I'm not responsible. That's understandable because I am quite, like I'm quite impulsive at times and I don't think about others, just myself at times. So I think maybe I'm not ready, but I think in my heart that I have the heart for it now, for the babies now. I don't think Ronan is ready to become a parent. I think he loves children and he loves the idea of being a parent. And I know that he would be exceptional when the time is right, but I don't feel he's ready yet to be a parent. He has a lot of, a lot of things to sort out in life first. He needs to be stable, he needs to have his own savings, his own house, before he can even consider being a parent. But I think when the time is right, he will make a great parent. I think Ronan wants to be a parent now because he feels that's what's missing in his life. Ronan, even when we're watching TV, Ronan will always be thinking about the next thing that he's going to watch before the original programme is over. And it's the same in his life. If he has a show or if he has some event or something is happening, before that's even finished, he's already looking to the next thing. So before he even has a partner and is in a steady relationship, he's already thinking, I need to have a baby. I want to, to have a baby. I want to be a parent. Because I think you need to learn to look after yourself before you learn to look after somebody else. I know. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Mm -hmm. And all my friends from school are having kids now. All my friends have kids, and I'm like, okay, I have two dogs. We don't speak. Do you speak to them? I <laughs> know. God love them. I would love. I would love to give the kids something that I was missing, I don't know what it is, something that I wanted for my dad that I couldn't get. And um, he has passed away now, he's passed away, so we never really got any closure on what I was missing. Um, and I would have liked to have, you know, I would have liked to have the opportunity to talk to him and see why, what was missing in our relationship, because that's something that I would like to know for me to carry on then with my own family in the future. Rona didn't have a great relationship with his father. Um, he, he was, Ronan came out as being gay at a very, very early age. He didn't actually come out to us, we just knew that he was going to be gay. And not a lot of people could handle that at the time because it, he was so young and because he was so confident in his, and who he was then, that it wasn't accepted by his father or his dad at the start because he didn't know how to handle it. And then, Ronan's not a man's man, he's, he's a mummy's boy and that wasn't always accepted or understood because he didn't like football, he didn't like sports, you know, he wasn't interested in girls and I think him and his dad had a quite a hard relationship because of that. Um, in later years, you know, the dad tried to make up for that and he tried to, you know, acknowledge Ronan for who he was and support Ronan but growing up was, was very difficult. Like Ronan, you want to set a plan of action in place to learn how to cope financially, emotionally, mentally for yourself before you have a plan of action for your baby? I would prefer to be single if I had a baby because relationships just don't work for me at all. I'd have a boyfriend, Tanya, for like six months and then they break up with me and then, or I break up with him. Right. And then, I don't know, yeah. And then, I'm like, what's the point? So if I was going to have a baby, I'd rather do it myself. Because I know that I'm going to be there for it constantly. Does that make sense? Do you ever find out why they break up with you? Or you well, break up with them? The last one had a... A wonky willy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Guys. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ronan. Thank you. Everybody who's here, I invited with my heart and soul. Nobody, ever, anybody who's not here, I don't want them there. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers to me. <laughs> they went flying. <laughs>
Oh. It's brilliant. Uh, it's so good just to be so close to everything, getting home, having drinks with the family and friends and just enjoying it. We are here because um, I painted a new fresh table and it's nice and blue and I wanted everyone to see my magical work. So we're going to have drinks, we're going to have the fire lit and I have new nice lights around the garden so everyone's going to appreciate the outside even though it's freezing. What's everybody drinking? What are you drinking, Mummy? I'm having some lemon gin courtesy of... Cat bud yourself. The beautiful cat. <laughs> she treated you for me, thank you. Some lemon and lime lemonade. What are you drinking, Corey? I want some vodka and Coke. Or Pepsi, is it? Pepsi. Pepsi. Did you bring your Pepsi, did you? It is, but I, didn't, yeah. I don't actually have it. Oh, did you forget to do it whenever you're <laughs> lighting fire? Honey, what are you drinking, my love? I'm drinking lemon and lime zero. Oh, we oh, love that, honey. Oh. I'm drinking the water. <laughs> but yeah, I had such a good night. I really enjoyed it. I think it was so nice to have in just everyone around me who I love so much. It's so nice. Keely's like, shut up, you don't even love me. <laughs> so what happens next, Ronan? Well, I'm away to London this weekend. So mm. I'm away to London this weekend for four days on my own. I hate it. Wow. But I'm used to it by now. I feel like whenever I'm at home, I'm, it's so easy to be me, just Ronan. But see, whenever I'm doing events or social things, it's very hard because TV Ronan comes into play, even though I'm not on TV at the time. But Ronan Rice just, just becomes more alive. And it's nice because it gives me the confidence, but I also want to be just Ronan and it's very hard for him to come out sometimes because I have this like big persona that I always like to play out but it just I don't mean for it to come out it just comes out and that's I think the struggles with being on TV and then having a normal working life as well it's very hard to be those two people at once because your brain just gets messed up. The things that the real Ronan would be like that you don't really see is that I'm very very shy I'm very anxious I am um, I take medication for my anxiety and um, I'm taking medication for depression and um, it's things that I've never really talked about and it's things that I don't really like to show because people on social media don't need to see me being sad or me being having a bad day they want to see me dancing my boxers having a good time so that's what I do and that's what I switch to yeah if that makes sense at uh, long term. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear long term, Nina? <laughs> Those are your rascals. Um, we, I don't know yet, I don't have a plan. Do you know what? I'm living each day as it comes now. I have no like planned thoughts. I'm just going to enjoy life and just be me, be free. But do you not think it's time to make a plan? I'm all about the plans. Yes, yeah. <sighs> we don't need a plan for now. So I'm having drinks and everyone's acting really weird because I went for a pee and I came back and everyone's sitting down just looking at me very weird. Normally people tiptoe around me, but for some reason all these questions they were throwing at me, it kind of felt like an intervention. It felt like I was going to rehab or something. I didn't like it at all. Why? Who, were, we ta were you talking see? to my mum whenever I wasn't here? No! Look at the fucking look you're giving me. <laughs> Where do you see yourself? In like five to ten years, that's what we're going to say. In a nice white picket fence house. And gray. how are you going to get yourself there? A baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I see myself in five years time definitely still living in my mum's house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, I would definitely be out of my mum's house by then. Hopefully with a boyfriend and another two dogs and a pink rug. For sure. Everyone loves a good pink rug. <laughs> no, I am going to work very hard as I'm doing at the moment. I'm going to work even harder to try to save because I'm really bad at saving and really just try to find someone and move in with them and have loads of babies and Chinese food. But you're talking about trying to find someone. I think you think your answer is going to be with someone. Yeah, it has to be. You have you to know. try and find an answer for yourself. You have to find yourself first. Yeah. Well, what, what would be a plan B if you try to find someone? My plan B, if I couldn't find someone, would probably be move to Wales again. <laughs> move back somewhere else. You know, what, what would be your second best if that, finding someone? I would love to be independent and just live on my own and be happy. But you might find someone when you're finally independent. You know what I mean? Yeah. It might yeah. come after. But it's just such hard work. But what, what would be like your ideal job right now? If you could just turn around tomorrow and get a job, what would it be? Probably. <laughs> Girls! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, a dog show. News reporter. Oh. Yeah. You want to be a news reporter? Like, hey guys! Hey guys, my name is Rudin and you're watching the BBC News. 
Can't say hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm see. like, it's 100% maybe, raining. <laughs> maybe like a media reporter. Yeah. Media reporter, yeah. definitely TV personnel. I would definitely love to present something on TV. Maybe. Like E. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, something fun. Do you know well, what I mean? Hard, can you make that happen? I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Something's going to happen. But it's not getting you to where you want to be. I know. Maybe I'm sorry. So you need to change your plan. So what does happiness look like for you? Happiness looks like for me, my dogs, someone to come home to after a long day, and I'm getting emotional. Oh my God. Oh. Why am I crying for like a few of me? I happiness to me looks like just being surrounded by family and friends, and coming home to someone, not coming home to an empty house, and just being truly happy. Yeah. I would love to quit reality TV and get into something more serious like acting. I would love that for sure. If the acting rule, if the acting route does not pan out, I would just love to be a stay-at-home dad. I'm not going to lie. I think that's really, really cool with all the dogs um, and the kid, obviously, as well. But I, I think for now I'm okay with the TV because it's fun and it gets me out there. But I do like to, maybe in my 30s, to calm it down a bit. But you're not getting to where you want to be. You're pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Why, everybody's asking you questions, not just me. Like, I just, I just think you know, you're 28. You've done some of the the media. You've done your reality TV shows. You're now living at home with your mum. And I'm loving it. I know you're loving it, but where are you going to go from here? You can't stay like this forever. My mum pisses me off sometimes because she says things like oh, like you're lazy or, you know, you're not really reaching to where you want to be. I actually, I I bloody do a lot, okay? I feel like I do a lot and she, she just doesn't get it sometimes. She thinks she gets it, but she doesn't. She's, she's silly. I think the ideal plan would be move out, control my own money and... You do control your own money, you just well, control it wrong. I control it wrong, control my money correctly and just really make a home a home and then don't impulse buy shits like lip fillers fucking gay porn you know just Clothes. skin is free um <laughs> no it's all free <laughs> you know what i mean though so but yeah. well we don't know what you mean because that's why we're asking you know you've you've tried living on your own you've been to Belfast, you've been to Swansea, you've been to Belfast, you've been to Dan Patrick, you've been to Swansea, you know. Oh what's not working? Are you searching for something that you think is going to give you that completeness? Yeah. You're searching for something or someone? Yeah, yeah. Both. Mm. Something and someone. But where does that come from? Where or does that desire it. or need come from? Is it like that you're not happy in yourself? I was I wasn't unhappy I wasn't happy myself for a long time and then whenever I did naked attraction something just came over me where I'm like fuck I am actually gorgeous and I'm stunning and I'm a bloody superstar as well you know what I mean so I thought fuck it like let's just be happy so ever since naked attraction I love myself now like I don't need to lose weight to find a guy I don't need to go through surgery to find a guy if if, if I want to find a guy I'm gonna be me and be who I look like and right now but men don't like that I have to look a fucking twink. I have to look a certain way. I have to look skinny. You know, there's no in between. I'm either a big fat gay boy or like a really skinny gay boy. I'm there's someone out there though that's gonna like you for you and you will find them, but maybe you're just at the moment you're looking in the wrong place. Or maybe if you stop looking, sometimes when you stop looking and you leave it up to fate or you then leave you it up Amazon to... Then you Amazon delivery. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can highly recommend Amazon Prime. <laughs> You killed me. <laughs> the questions that they were giving me wasn't really questions that they would normally ask me before. I feel like because they're all together, they felt good to gind up with me a wee bit. I felt gined up, to be honest. It was quite annoying. Um, but I felt like they were asking me questions like, what are you going to do in five years? It's like, I'm living in the moment, guys. Just leave me alone. I will do my own thing, but I appreciate the response. And I appreciate, you know, asking, because obviously I'm a bit of a rut, but at the end of the day, I'm having a good time at home at the moment. I just don't want to be doing any sudden moves or changes because then that's whenever my anxiety gets a lot worse. So, <clears throat> so guys, what I promise to do to myself, not to you guys, is what I'm gonna do this day forward is I'm gonna get more independence 
I'm going to maybe think about moving out again and keeping this house and keeping my money and not spending it on shit. Cheers yeah. to that, guys. Cheers and, to a year. And to my smelly <laughs> fart. <laughs> That's a wrap, baby! Woo! <gasps> Fuck. Yeah. Oh, wow! <laughs>